I had a, a trip planned to Oregon for a board meeting and I've been traveling quite a bit this uh, last year and so uh, when I got home I told my wife, I said, hey hon, why don't you come with me uh, because there's, there's a lot of things that we're praying through this next season as far as uh, clarity from God and uh, one of the things being uh, this home opened up on the Kaneohe side uh, for us to go and uh, maybe rent uh, for the season and it was really exciting and so we fly into Oregon and uh, we get to mom and dad's house and we're all standing around the kitchen table and we just started sharing our heart like you know we came up to really pray through the season so we start talking and and we said you know we're just gonna kinda throw it all on the table and see what God says and so uh, the conversation I uh, went from small talk to kind of deeper and deeper what this season might look like and little things that God had put in our hearts. Um, for some time now, the picture started to come clearer and clearer and what we realized was not that it would be moving out to Kahalu'u or Kaneohe area, but actually moving to Oregon and helping my dad. And God started to reveal that almost like these blinders were taken off and, and I was looking at my wife and I was like, what's happening right now? What's going on? Because it was, it was that clear. It was baffling at the same time, exciting. Uh, and we just felt more and more each day, just the peace of God confirming that, that this is something He's calling us to do. Uh, not leaving Oahu, our new hope, but really uh, being in Oregon to help my dad. About four years ago, when we moved from Hawaii Kai, New Hope Hawaii Kai to Sand Island, uh, we prayed through kind of a similar process and we heard the Lord say, you know, get close to my dad, help him and uh, learn from him. When we were processing and he was helping us to think through our, our giftings, our season and our calling and, you know, our heart to really see new hope and to serve in, the, in a way that would see new hope blossom and grow and see young emerging leaders develop and our heart to really serve, you know, and learn from mom and dad. And so as we were thinking things through, it wasn't like he said, hey, I need, you know, I want you guys to come over. It just naturally became a, wow, it was almost like it all kind of came together without us even like realizing yeah. it, without there even being a question. It was like, wow, the puzzle just kind of all came together and like this would actually be my first time ever living away from from home and that's yeah. kind of hard, you know? So um, it was a big step of faith for it all to come yeah. together. And I think that um, because because Pastor Rain didn't ask and because it was more something revealed by the Lord, yeah. it was for us undeniable that, yeah, that God invited there, us. There was even moments I said, Dad, what do you think? What do you think? And he's like, yeah. you, you got to hear, hear God. <laughs> come on, man, what do you think? Because he's always been someone that, you know, really spoke Wise into counsel. our life and he's like, not on this one, man. Yeah. It's and even you mom, and Jesus. Yeah, and even and mom, mom asking too. mom, what do you think? And she just said, you know, the peace of God will lead you and he'll speak clearly. And and over days and of prayer and, you know, processing things through, um, yeah, it really felt like an invitation from the Lord, not mm -hmm. necessarily from a person. Yeah, as much as we love and respect, you know, mom and dad, it, yeah. we have to hear it for straight from straight from the Holy Spirit. You know, I, I'm reminded of uh, something my dad said when I, you know, my first appointment here at New Hope was to be the junior high pastor, and I loved it. But even before that, I said, I'll never work with junior high kids, you know. <laughs> I wanted to be the high school guy, but the Lord had a different uh, idea. And I was working with the junior high kids and loved it so much, and, and I was asked to oversee the high school ministry, and I was like, no way, the junior high kids are the best. And uh, my dad said something that I'll never forget. He said, uh, Aaron, it's like you've been faithful with little and God just wants you to be faithful with more. And it's not like you're leaving something. He's just expanding um, who you are and, and what he's doing in your life. And so I feel like it's really that. It's, it's not a leaving something. It's uh, being a part of what God might be expanding. And it's just humbling to be a part of that. You know, it makes me kind of think of when we got 
married and when Aaron proposed to me, I have two sisters and they're my best friends in the world and you know they were like, "Oh, but then you're going to take our sister." You know, and I was the first one to get married in our family and he said, "You know, I'm not you're not losing a sister, you're gaining a brother and a whole new family." And that's what it really feels like for us mm -hmm. because our heart is so for the people and for and even for Hawaii and what God's doing in New Hope everywhere. And so it just feels like, you know, an expansion of relationship, um, proximity, mm -hmm. and you know, we're gonna, we're still a part of the movement of New Hope and what the God, what God's doing to expand the kingdom through, mm -hmm. through this amazing church body and the leaders that you know have so graciously poured into our lives and you know Pastor John and Cindy and just yeah. Pastor John Tilton and all of I mean just all of you guys have been you guys are family so there's no way we can leave our family you know we just get to expand and be a part of something a little bit where we can bring more people in because that's our goal as mm. as as min in ministry and just as believers is to expand the kingdom to the to the east to the west and that's what we want to see happen and if we uh, us being in Oregon serves that in this season best then you know how can we not say yes and and invite more to come and encounter the love of Jesus and maybe to see what he has for them change is never easy but like when people hear the lord and he asks them to do something it's almost like man, you know, we want to see people walk into, in obedience to what God has, um, even though we have to kind of grieve a little mm -hmm. bit. I know for myself, I'm in that process right now of, um, you know, anytime something is transitioning, there's there's that sense of loss, even though there's like a excitement for what God is going to do, because obedience always leads to, you know, His best, and it, His best isn't always going to be the easiest way, mm -hmm. and it's hard. And It'd be so much easier if God sent an agenda and said, here's <laughs> what life's going to look like, you know, and it'd be really nice. But, uh, you know, all throughout the scriptures, you see the Holy Spirit move and call, and people say, yes, Lord, and they follow, and, uh, you know, a lot of life and faith is about hearing the voice of God and obeying and the Lord loves that and the Bible says you know without faith we can't please God and so our heart biggest most primary thing is to please the Lord hear his voice and follow what he's asking